Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. Behind me are the Christmas lights. They're finally up. It is not quite December yet, but it's certainly the time for giving. And I've got five of my favorite men's advent calendars to show to you today. So calendars have come a long, long way since I was a kid. Used to have little pictures in them, then chocolates, and it kind of got a bit stale after your 13th year. They've changed a lot now, and they're almost a gift in themselves. Get them for yourself, get them for the man in your life, but here are my five favorites to show to you guys. The first up, it is from everybody's favorite online fashion retailer, or my favorite at least. It is ASOS. Get that focus on the go there. So ASOS have released their grooming calendar for 2017. I think they had one last year as well. It is big and it is full of goodies. And my favorite thing about this, it goes all the way up to number 25. What I love about this calendar is the build quality. It's really hinged like a book. It's nice and deep. So hopefully there are some good sized goodies in there. Nice little marble finish. It's very, very smart. The old style ones with the little small chocolates in them, you chuck on the side somewhere, kind of hide it out of sight. This could actually be pride and joy on your shelf. So I'm now going to open a couple of doors just to check the hype is actually worth it. So I'm going to open it up and all different sizes, all different shapes. Number 13, my favorite number is about here. And we have got, so here is the lip balm. It's by a brand called Polar. I think they are French. I've never actually tried it before. So it's always good to get things you haven't actually tried. Um, that's what I love about these calendars. There's so many choices here, so many things in them. You may or may not have seen them before, which is a great way to discover new products and new brands. I think I might open a second door and number 19, I mean, as a kid, you always go for the biggest present. So let's go for number 19, which hopefully just up here is a nice big gift. Boom, there we go. If I can get it out. We've got some grooming cream from Glide um High. Some defining style grooming cream for the hair, I do believe. It's actually a full size product, 100 mil, which is great. So you can really, really get to try this, plenty in there. Guys, I'm loving this calendar so much, I might do a third and final box and sticking with the bigger is better theme. Box number four, just down here. Let's see what we have. A bit of shave cream from Street Fields. Again, another brand, believe it or not, I haven't really heard of, so that's a great thing to get. A um, bit of shave cream. I don't shave my beard, but I do shave my chest. Not everyone knows that, so we'll see how it is. All right, moving on to calendar number two. I'm gonna get a bit more boozy now, and it's definitely one for the evening, not for the mornings, unless you're that kind of person. And it weighs an absolute ton, hence the wider angle today. It is from Virgin Wines. I mean, I barely have to move that in because it's so big. And essentially, this is their drinks of Christmas. So each door, I do believe, has a different wine behind it. I'm guessing they're half bottles because this weighs an absolute ton. So I'm not being lazy. I can't lift this up and open at the same time. So I'm going to open the ones in the top row. Not being biased, I just really am not strong enough to do both at the same time. It does actually weigh a ton. So let's start with door number 22. I'm not even sure how these open. There we go. It is actually a 187. So it is a small glass of wine, but 24 small glasses of wine. So lots of wine. This, I do believe, is a Sauvignon Blanc Marlboro from New Zealand. Brilliant. Never tried it before. Always good to get new wines. More of a red drinker, but I'm not joking. It's a very, very good way to get your head around some different wine brands. Work out what you like, what you don't like rather than buying an entire bottle and going, this is not for me. So second door is going to be door number four. Again, it's, in fact, no, I've turned it around now so I can use any door. I'm gonna go for door number one. What is the first bottle of wine that Virgin Wines will give you on the 24 days before Christmas? What is this? A Shiraz. Beautiful. Here we go. This is a 2015 Shiraz called the Black Pig. It is from Clare Valley in Australia. So it's nice to get a different variety of countries, kind of different places, different regions. Um, this one is actually a red, my favorite. So I'm looking forward to drinking this when Christmas does finally come around. You can't open your doors early, guys. You have to open it on a day. I've kind of cheated, but we'll, we'll, we'll look past that, it's fine. 
Okay, this is Billy Bosch Reserve from South Africa. Also another Shiraz, so my favourite. Um, I haven't tried this either, which is great. I'm not a wine expert, but I have tried quite a few wines. Hopefully, I've not tried any of these ones here. It's a great way to work your way through 24 glasses of wine in the run-up to Christmas. So Virgin Wines, definitely recommend this if you're a wine lover, or even if you want to try some new wines out, give it a go. Moving on to number three in the calendars, guys, we have L'Occitane. Now, don't let the fact that there is a female in a red dress on this box put you off. You'll probably chuck this away anyway. It's what's inside that counts. So we're gonna open this up, see what's inside. I love the brand, so I'm hoping this lives up to expectations. Nice little bow on the top. It's a very, very well-made box. Nice and festive and gold. I'm assuming. Boom, there we go. How nice is that? So, I'm not sure if you can see this, and I don't want to ruin the surprise, because I'll turn it this way, but we have nice little drawers here that open and close. Made of cardboard, but it's so beautiful. And each box, I think, has a little quote about the gift inside. That is so nice. Lockstand, you really have nailed this one. I mean, 24 is lit up in gold, but I kind of think that's cheating a bit, because that's obviously the best one. Um, let's go for number 22, caught my eye. So on the side it says open, hydrate and smile. And in French as well, just in case. Let's have a look. It's wrapped in beautiful tissue, and I'll put this to one side for a second. And there we go, we have some more lip balm. Okay, so we're gonna slide number 22 back in, and let's do for, again, I'm always drawn to big numbers, like the bigger, bolder, number four. Let's give four some love. Okay, feminine, elegant, captivating. We'll see how it is. It is a men's calendar, and a female's calendar. Hopefully it's not a lipstick. If it is, I'm now really in trouble. <laughs> a nice little bottle, full glass. It does smell quite floral, but quite like that. And also, if it's a woman in your life, you want to give it to your mum, your sister, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever, definitely a nice little gift. And also, it's only one of 24, so let's see what else there is. This is Restore Strength and Shine to Your Hair. Definitely need that myself. So. Apro Shampoo aka conditioner guys. Always very, very handy to have. This has got five essential oils in it. It's 35 mil. And do you know what actually, what I've realized, this is great stuff for travel. So it's not all full sized. It's a smaller variety. Great for travel, for your hand luggage. Um, yeah, I'll try this out. Hopefully my hair looks nice and strong afterwards. Such a nice size though. And it probably smells beautiful. Moving on now to number four, and it's back to the alcohol. Now, don't let the kind of subtle packaging kind of take away from what this is. This is by Drinks by the Dram. It is rum. It's a rum edition calendar. There should be, if I'm counting correctly, 24 different rums in here, which is amazing. I love my rum, and this is a great way to discover new rums. So, yeah, you know what it is. It's beautifully boxed. It's quite manly, quite masculine. I love the little gold numbers on it. It's very, very well made but also it's cardboard. So after you finish with it, you can pack it up and you can recycle it, quite nice. So I love rum so much, I'm just gonna go into this and pick out three, maybe four, maybe five different, different doors and see how it looks. Let's start with number 12. Ah, very interesting. So they're not actually in rum bottles, I think they are in little mini waxed seal glass bottles. That is beautiful, I love the way that's done. This here, if we can focus on that. It's so beautiful. This is a Nicaraguan rum called Flor de Cana, or Flor de Jana. We'll work it out. 40% 12 year old rum, slow aged in a barrel. On the back it says the country of origin, which I love. So you know what you're drinking. Little brand here, and it is a 30 centiliter, so a large shot of rum. Can't wait to try this. I love the packaging though. The little wax bottle there is so perfect. Beautifully presented. I love it. So let's go to box number two now. And number 13 again. Always drawn to that number. We've got Black Seal. Beautiful. 
Bermudan rum. Gosling's Black Seal. Had this before actually. I know I love it. It's always good to find a rum that you love and stick with it. So I'm looking forward to drinking that. And door number 321. Let's go for it. Diplomats ago. A single vintage 2002 though. Guys, that is a very, very, very good rum. And I'm very happy to get that in here. That's such a nice rum. Quite highly sought after. Also quite expensive for a whole bottle. Good to try it. See if you like it. And if you do, you can indulge in it later on. Love it. Another great gift. And last but not least, we have number five in the collection. And it is Clarins and their 12 Days of Christmas. I absolutely love this packaging. It's distinctly Clarins Man. Beautifully presented. Quite a sturdy box. If we slide this off here, you will see... Oh, it's on the back. Cheating. If we slide this off here, you will see little hinge doors. And again, little drawer system. I love this presentation. It's a really, really sturdy box as well, guys. So Clarins have only opted to do 12 days of Christmas. I will link below the items and also tell you the prices as well, because I know that's quite important for some of you guys, um, and go over the pros and cons of each. But 12 days of Christmas, let's see what is in each drawer. So let's go, number nine, nice and big on the top row there. We have got some exfoliating body scrub for smooth skin. Always very handy. I've actually run out of that recently, so that's a very, very good gift to get. Also, it's full size, but again, it's 100 mil, so you can take this with you on the plane, which is great. Let's go for draw number 10, and we have relax bath and shower concentrate with essential oils. This stuff is great if you're tired and fatigued. It smells really, really good. It's designed for men. It's a great product. Always happy to have that in my advent calendar. Thank you very much, Clarins. And finally, guys, draw number six, and it's a very, very small bottle. This is Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. Looking forward to trying this. I'm guessing it's some kind of serum for your face. Always good to look after your skin. I've never tried this before, so it's quite nice. But I love Clarins. I'm hoping I love this as much too. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed that roundup and the opening of a few drawers. Hopefully I've inspired you to go and get one of these calendars. They are a great gift to yourself or to the man in your life. In terms of price point, quite important. Now the two lowest priced ones are the ASOS calendar and the Clarence calendar. Obviously with Clarence you're getting half the number of drawers, but critically you're getting Clarence products so you know what you might be getting in terms of quality. And if you love Clarence, I highly recommend that. But if you want variety, and lots of different choices. ASOS is a great option, and obviously ASOS, they know what they're doing. It's still a great calendar. In terms of the two alcohol-related calendars, the Virgin Wines one is 80 quid, which I think is a great price point for 24 different bottles of wine. Um, you're getting 24 glasses of wine for 80 quid. It's less than you pay in a restaurant. It might be more than you pay for full bottles, but you're not gonna make the mistake of getting a bottle you don't love. But hopefully I will discover some more wines that I will buy at a later date, so it's well worth the investment. In terms of the drinks by the dram, that is one to five, but I must stress you are getting 24 very, 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 very good bottles of rum in there. There are only single shot measures, but there are some really, really rare varieties in there. Diplomatica itself is always an absolute winner in my eyes and it's a great way again not to buy a whole bottle and regret it but to try 24 different rums from different countries and hopefully find one that you love to bits. And last but not least if you are feeling a bit more spendy which is Katie's favourite word. I put that in there because I know she'll absolutely love it. If you want to spend some more cash, guys, the Lockstand one is 150 quid. It is quite expensive, but the build quality and the thought that has gone into this one is absolutely epic. And the products as well are amazing. If you bought these full price, they'd be quite expensive anyway. So it's a good way to explore the range, find out what works for you on a smaller scale to then buy at a later date. And that is it guys, I hope I have been of some help and rather than going out and buying that Mars bar or Freddy calendar, you'll actually explore some different choices this Christmas. The 1st of December is only a few days away, so go and try something different. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you've liked this, please do hit the thumbs up. Links to everything are also below. Click on those, have an explore, let me know what you think. And do subscribe, I will be posting again on Friday and I'm back for my next 5 Minute Friday. See ya.